Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kaya. Today, we're gonna build some async methods. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Are you excited? So firstly, I'm gonna create a new project here from scratch, right? So new project. Uh, let's create a console next. And the name of the project is gonna be creating or async methods, right? Beautiful. Let's delete it. Console.red line, right? So in this way, or a console right line will keep showing, keep showing. Let's just double check here. Let me increase a little bit for you guys. Okay, at five. So our project is running, right? So that's perfect. So what I'm gonna show, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create two other methods. One called, um, let, okay, our project is gonna be for cooking, right? Cookers. Everyone cooks, right? So let's cook some eggs, like uh, cook egg, cook eggs, right? And console dot right line eggs cook it, right? Pretty simple, straightforward, right? So this is our method to cook eggs. Mm, exciting, right? Let's create another one called cook bacon's, right? Console dot right line bacon's cook it. Pretty amazing, right, boys? So we have oh, oops, oops, oops. So we have two methods. One it is called cook x and the other cook bacon. So what I'm gonna do is instead of print this guy here, I'm gonna call these two methods, right? So calling the first one and calling the second one. So what what is gonna happen now? Is gonna call this and then this, right? I'm gonna make the things more exciting, right? So I'm gonna make a thread slip here. So firstly, we need to import the namespace system.threading. This guy is gonna be uh, waiting two seconds. So this method just make your method wait two seconds, right? So this for the cook eggs and this for the cook bacon so should we cook eggs we need two seconds and should we cook bacons we need also two more seconds right so what's gonna happen boys he is gonna call the first one wait two seconds to execute the first one and then go to the second one cook bacons and then wait more two seconds right so let's see executing eggs cook it Two seconds, bacon cook it, bacon cook it. Perfect, perfect. So what we have now is we have two separate methods. We need two seconds to execute and complete each one, right? So what we're gonna play right now is we're gonna use the async method. We're gonna call these two methods separately in parallel. So as they are taking the same amount of time, two seconds, they're gonna be completed at exactly the same time and that is the beauty of asynchronous methods right yeah so let's make async this guy here right so we created these two methods async way so let's see if it's gonna work x and bacon so in other words it didn't work it is not working why if you, you realize there is this green little snake here under the, the, the method name, which is saying there is a sync method lacks await operators, right? So for every async method, we need to use this await guy. The secret stuff here is you just type task, which is another time we need to use the threading.tasks, right? Task.run right so in this run method you're gonna pass an anonymous function right this is anonymous function oh jab jab Pito. what is anonymous function anonymous function is basically a function but you don't give a name anonymous function <laughs> 
So this is beautiful, right? So you create this anonymous function and then you put this await here, right? So everything that is going inside this guy will have this await keyword here, right? So we put this guy here inside this guy, right? Beautiful, beautiful. And then we do the same here away task run guys i strongly recommend you to not use the intelligence type it it's gonna be better for you to you memorize to understand and everything right so i just made the same for the second one so we have two sync methods with this task dot run which is amazing right perfect so what what is gonna happen well, what is gonna happen jab let's see F5 executing the project. Beautiful. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. See? It is exactly like the way we want it. Okay, let's make two five seconds and then you're gonna see it has the exactly same behavior. Let's see. F5. Okay beautiful right beautiful and the other thing that you might use in the future is let's say you have uh an asynchronous and synchronous method and you, you want to wait the the result from that asynchronous method okay why would you do that sometimes you have you're gonna face that let's say that you are in already existing project which you are using some libraries that the method is asynchronous and you need to make sure that you need to wait the result before you execute something else right so in this case we're gonna do this thing here uh this cook eggs uh, let's create another method okay let's create like um a static a sync void uh, toast bread right so this guy here is gonna do exactly the same stuff i just don't want to like change the other methods right uh bread toasted right beautiful so let's say i want to make sure the cooks are the first one and then i want to execute the the cook bacons and toast bread method after the cook eggs method right so i want to make sure this guy here is the first i want to make sure this guy is the second actually i want to these two guys here be the second right so i'm gonna execute this guy here first how do i do that jab it's pretty simple uh instead of void we're gonna say this guy here returns needs to re returns right um some notification for us saying okay this guy is okay right so this guy is gonna be like the type of bull right so we are gonna return true when this guy is executed so we're gonna create result equals to false whenever this guy here is executed i'm gonna set this guy as true and i'm gonna return result right so in this way this method here we always return this task bool right so what i'm gonna do is get result from this method right but guys should we make sure that this guy here is executed first we need to use a wait all right right so basically that's all all right 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 right, right guys so the problem here is actually i cannot use this await in a method that is not a sync right so as we are using console application we will need to create another method another method here this is gonna be your another method and then in this guy we can use the async so we're gonna copy paste all of this put in this new method and then call this new async method in our 
main method, which is not a sync, right? Perfect. So this guy here, we're going to await this guy. And then this guy here is going to be populated with the result. Okay. So let me execute the code. So it's going to execute Coke X first. And then the other two. Bam! Bam! Right? This is beautiful. I hope, guys, you enjoyed this video. Um, I record one at least one video per week, right? So subscribe, activate uh, the sign, the signals, and follow me on Instagram at Japapito. Bye.